You led me to a prize much more magnificent than I could have imagined. I just killed a baby bear. I took everything as to not offend the Native Americans. What was he fighting? A tree? Maybe he was practicing his archery. <laughs> Glad Dova Bear is not here. They go. All right. Glad Dova Bear is not here. He would have been angry. Yeah, that's another thing with Skyrim. Companions just always disappear. I don't know if the mod maker. No, he didn't make it like that because he suggests he was like, yeah, you shouldn't bring companions. Like every mod author says. It's like, what, where are all these bears coming from? Hey. Get off my property. Nothing like burning to death. No, no. Ain't nothing. Maybe like drowning. What are you, a ghost? There you go. Okele dokele. There we go. I'd be jumping on the treetops all day long. They call me Dolly McChinglebog. Wow, that was a big eagle. Pterodactyl. Sure do got a lot of pterodactyls in your bird nest. Keep eating all my pigeons. Oh, here we are. Okay. I need to make leather. I need to make leather and then I need to make leather strips, correct? Good thing all these things are here. Okay, it doesn't matter. Leather. Oh, I can make a flute. I'm gonna make leather strips. And I'll just keep that in case he wants me to do some other random chore. Iron. Iron dagger. Aha! I seem to have found your weakness. It's logic and following directions. Quest. Johnny Quest. Enjoy my where the when the dagger is here. Okay. Daga. Oh, I had a well. These are different daggers. Store. Oh, I got a little house. Oh, I got a little house. Oh, I Sverker the Havesborn hereby give my house to you, faithful companion. I do this with the greatest of trust, and I know that you will take care of it and treat it the way it should be treated, as a house that. It, that is, not a lover or a nemesis. I'm going to bang the hell out of this house. Utilize my tools and keep the house clean and neat. Also go to my, or it is now your, desk on the upper floor and read the note I put inside the little chest called Letters. Do not forget the key to the house, which is also put here in this chest. And I guess... This just says, When the dagger lies here, look on the well in front of you and witness my might and sorcery. Deed to my house. Sverker has born. What are we, Vikings? Sverker. Welcome to your shitty house. Open the dolls and make a new life. Oh. Hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. You pl you can place ten more books on this shelf. Kind of creepy. Okay. Oh. This is my... S yeah, there's a definite breeze in this house that's going to creep me out. Good lord, that scared me. Oh. This is empty somehow. <laughs> There are gonna be some upstairs. Nope. Okay, what did he say? Letters. There's a letters book. Inkwell. Oh, um, utilize my tools. Blah, blah, blah. Also, go to my desk on the upper floor and read the note I put inside the little chest called letters. There's a chest called letters. 
when you are settled. Warms my heart to see a new owner to my loved my loved house, and who better suited than you, trusted servant? I will give you some time to settle, and in the meantime, you are also going to learn. You're going to learn ABCs. What is happening? What happened? My lord is matters for me to which I must attend, and that is why you will be on your own for a little while. I would suggest visiting Smith Elsa's house and see if you can sniff up a track, little dog. Find out what happened here, and then maybe you will start to know what the hell I am going through. Oh, trust me, before this is over, you will burn. You will burn, 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 baby, burn. Sincerely, Inferno. All right. Burn, baby, burn. Just go, Inferno. I always think of uh, Hobo with a Shotgun when I hear that song now. Which is a very bloody movie, and I don't mind that. Okay, um... Alfred Smith Elses. Smith Elsa, if you ain't Smith and nothing else, you're Smith and nothing. Smith Elsa is a woman who knows her way around a blacksmith. Oh, yes, she does. Okay, good. No one in here. Totally forgot that there are things that are in these houses. Okay. It's a lot of ingots. Martius's Notebook. Started the servant, Martius Notebook. My name is Martius. My name is Martius. My name is Martius. That's not my name. I am nine year old. I live in Jotunheim. My parents' name is Elsa and Haskil. Mother is Kande and father is strong. I am small, but Kande. Holger is my teacher. He teaches me. I am teached by teacher Hagmar. He is pressed in the church. Mered, I tell him what he do, and he do it. Learns me a lot of things, and I want to learn right instead of be smith like my mother. Listen, kid. I understand every once in a while you're not very good at writing, but every word you are, you're just going to have to be a blacksmith because you're horrible at writing. My father is a miner, and he work in the mine. My father min mi mines in the mine with the pickaxe. Pickaxe. Martius a diary. This is my diary. Today my father went down to work in the mine as usual, and I saw him come up from the mine. He had a skeleton, but it had skin on it, but it was almost a skeleton. They put it in the church with Holgemar, and he touched the skeleton with tools and write things in his diary. I have a diary now, just like Holmar do. Why does Holmogar not teach me anymore? He's just in the church all the time, and I'm in my house with my parents, and I help them work in the smithy. Today my parents put things in front of the church doors, and Holgemar is still inside, and he cannot get out. I will help him out. He must learn me to write go as good as he can. No, you stupid. Stupid kid. We hear scary sounds from the church in the night. Holgmar screams. My parents tell me, don't listen. Cover your ears, son. Church is empty. When we opened it, where is Holgmar? Father says, Holgmar is gone. I should not care. Son, you must be brave. He says, Joa is out at night with father. And once I follow them, and I saw them sneak in the trees near the mountain where the big gate is and the big wall, and they started kissing. This night, father came home with a big kiss on his cheek. And he said, and don't speak, what is he doing? He speaks, and he screams at night, but I don't know what he means. One thing I can understand, he's saying, he lives, he lives. Holgmar, save us, Meridia. Today when I woke up, my parents were gone, and I cannot find them. My daddy been kissing boys. People d disappear all the time. Where are they going? Tomorrow's I will take my backpack and move to my hideout near the southern watchtower on the beach near the water. I hope they will not find me. I miss my parents, and I cry all night. I leave my notebook here. I won't need it in my hideout. The only thing... I will bring is my book I got from Orvar and some things to eat. Tomorrow's I will take my backpack and move to my hideout near the southern watchtower on the beach. Southern watchtower on the beach. Southern watchtower on the beach. Okay. Oh, I'm, po I'm poisoned, aren't I? Yes, you are, boy. Or cure? Was it cure? Potion of cure disease. Well, not really disease. I'm poisoned. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Southern Watchtower of the Beach. See if we go. We will be going. Southern Watchtower near the beach. Hmm. It's 
smells really warm in here. Someone turn the heat on. So this is where the lighthouse is, right? That's the lighthouse. So I'm guessing it's not going to be there. Have we been over the here, though? Um, I think we might have been over there. I think it was that watchtower I saw. Hmm. Oh, there's a... Oh! That kind of looks like a watchtower. Yeah, this is definitely a watchtower. So, a candle. There's a pot for pooping. And a note I can't pick up. myself late night Taco Bell no more all right so he went here um, um, I guess we can go I guess I'll go south or something well he was following his dad wasn't he they said there was a cave or something. Okay, so what is this? Oh, all right. Ta-da! going to find a dead kid finding a dead kid who <laughs> okay maybe the dead kid is here oh hi dead kid you've got seven gold you have a big ass backpack the niffle worm and a tomato what a horrible selection of things Uh, the Niffle Worm and the Huntsman by Logobog Dingle Dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, hope you enjoy this book, everyone. Fantasy gaming, where we can make books and gaming and god damn it. I'm going to tell you a tale, dear reader, and this tale is as true as the sun goes up in the morning, and that my name is Chicago Bear Dick. Hear my tale and be warm, for you should be very bored. It was a fine day indeed, and the huntsman Ronald woke up to the sounds of the birds outside masturbating. He was a fair-haired Nord with bright blue eyes and strong muscles. Beside him in the bay lay his hot, sexy wife, Ingrid, still asleep. Raven carefully kissed her on the cheek and squeezed his tits. It was frost on the window pane, and he loved turkey and bear meat. Silently, Reagan packed his backpack, grabbed the bow and the quiver, and stepped outside in the crispy, crispy, crunchy grass. He took a deep breath, inhaled the cold air, and lit a cigarette. The sun shone through the spruce needles, and as usual on his early hunting trips, he felt so alive being out there alone with the forest and its wildlife. Ravioli had been jogging through the woods that he knew so well for perhaps two hours when, Jesus Christ, when he reached a clearing that he had been in once before a couple of weeks ago. He stopped and caught his breath for a while, because he'd been running for two hours. Then he started searching the ground around him, and it did not take long before he found tracks from boars in the soft green grass. He readied his bow and followed the footprints east, east deeper inside the forest. But Ruku Boy had not walked far when he found himself in part of the forest where he had never, ever been before. However, the track seemed fresh, and he did not want to stop his hunt when he was super close to awesome animals. He therefore continued onward through the more and more dense vegetation. Twenty minutes later, it stuck to him. I've been running for two hours. The forest, he thought, knew so well where completely foreign. 
He thought he knew so well where completely foreign, and he did not know what way led back home. Instinctively, he tried to follow the tracks back, but he must have taken a wrong turn somewhere to a new set of tracks, because he just was deeper in the forest. His belly grunted, and he started to feel the cold around him now. As, his things, as if things could not get any worse, it started to rain, and he heard a soft murring in the water. He heard distant thunder, and possibly Velociraptors. He saw a cave entrance and a big hill. I better go inside and find a shelters, he thought to himself, and he hurried inside. Inside the cave, it was very dark, and he searched for a stick that he could use as a torch. Outside, the thunder roared, and he could not help thinking about his sweet wife, Ingrid. Back in the house somewhere far away, banging the neighbor. However, Talos, god of everything, must have been with him because he found a very good stick that was not only wet but on fire. A faint light threw its reflections on the wet stone and he could see everything. Seeking shelter from the cold and the dampness, Wriggle Dogs decided to go deeper with the torch and a dagger ready. The cave turned out to be a giant vault built in the early 20,000 bajillions for people to go inside of. He did not know why, but the cave held him in a trance, and he just kept going deeper. I'll turn back soon. I gotta explore a little bit because it's raining, bro, he thought stupidly enough, because little did he know about the mountain and its inhabitant. Suddenly, Ricklebone stopped. Something was wrong, and he tried desperately to find out what. A cold wind suddenly went past him, and he realized he had no pants on. Do not go out on me, he talked to his torch. But the wind suddenly came back and slapped him on his ball sack. Also, with a faint moan, the torch went out, and he found himself in total darkness. By the nines! What does that mean? He then heard a silent rumbling deeper without the stomach of his mouth. He tried backing out the same way, but it turned out there were a hundred other paths now. The wind was gone, but the rumbling just increased in might, and the ground started to shake under his feet. He felt sweat on his forehead and his palms convulsing, grasping the dagger. He shook it, and he said, Son of a bitch, I'm gonna miss family feud. His heart was beating very fast now, and as he tried to find his way with his bare hands, he cut himself on the sharp stalagmites and cliff edges. Then the rubble stopped, and Ravioli fell headlong to the damp floor, dropping his dagger. I'm an idiot, he screamed. Then the whole world erupted in a horrible deafening roar, as if the very stone crumbled. And that, my dear reader, was the last thing Ravioli ever experienced, because he was in a fucking volcano. And as the detective you are, you found this little part of the puzzle just as I told you to. I guess you found it strange that this book would be preserved in a knapsack for this long in a cave filled with water every now and then. That was how little Martius died, by the way. His lungs were filled with water, and when he tried to breathe, the tissue broke and water filled his body. Oh, lovely. The slaughterfish then feasted on his little baby body and his memories of his stupid family. And make no mistake, Martius' fate is the mildest of them all. I planted this book here so that you could read it. Now head back to the village. I think you might need to do some shopping in one of the local Kmarts. Find two more of my clues and you should be ready for the next task at hand. You will find it in your letterbox when the time is ready. Okay, head back to the village. Find... Um, to do some shopping in one of the local shops. Find two more of my clues and you should be ready for the next task. Okay. What's a going on? Um, oh, I'm stuck. Sorry about that. I'm trying to read things. I'm reading a book. I'm writing down notes. I'm drinking my cat milkshake. It's very busy day. This is why I don't finish Skyrim mods. I like to multitask while I do the other things, you know? it's I gotta get things done. Busy man. Okay, so we get to go back into town, which is ha. Oofenstein, you got the baby cuckoo poops? Oh yeah, I get the baby cuckoo poops. Put them in the mouth. So a bunch of you last time, you were like, you don't know how to pronounce Junkin Digger? And I was like, no, I don't know how to pronounce Juggin Digger because I don't um, read or study um, Nordic history, so why would I know how to pronounce some random name I don't care about? So, I'm just gonna call it Chicago, because Chicago is an easy name to remember. So this is the Shroud of Chicago. I might just name these parts Shroud of Chicago. If these parts aren't called Shroud of Chicago, um, well then screw me, right? 
I, I still need to make my Skyrim mod of just the city of Chicago. Or maybe, like, just a house filled with, like, telephones. And I'll be like, welcome to the future, Skyrim. Wow. 